finally, finally had some rain. We had a complete downpour last Monday. It's now Saturday the 10th of June and uh, I've been watching on YouTube so many people digging up their garlic and their onions and I keep saying I'm going to leave mine as long as I can but I'm just really curious now to know how they're getting on under the soil because I've said before they're not like onions. You can't really see how they're getting on above the soil, but I think what I'll do, I'll just dig up one or two and see what they're like. Okay, to look at them you would say yes Jane, they definitely need um, digging up because look at these, they've got yellow leaves, they're dying back, there's obviously not much more going back down into the bulb, but they're still a little bit green. Um, but they've got no rust, we've had no allium leaf miner, but certainly some of the stalks, if you look at that one, look a lot thicker and a lot healthier than some of the others. So let's have a little dig and we'll see how we get on. This isn't even a garlic, this is a shallot. <laughs> so let's get that out of the way of the camera. Okay, in with Ari Hurry and again, this must be left over from last year. Amazing what things self-seed, isn't it? Oh, snapped it as well, but... Okay. A few little shallots there. Can you see those? Oh, well, they don't think they'll keep. I think they're going to be last night's... Well, tonight's... T Sorry, Mike's just said... Are you all right? Hurry, hurry, cut. Oh, God. <laughs> Mike's got a brand new hurry, hurry, and he's um, just cut himself on it. Right, okay, yeah, so they won't last now because I've snapped all the stems accidentally, so... But yeah, they're a bonus, nevertheless, because I didn't plant them this year, but this is the one I'm interested in. Let's have a little look at this. Now, I think this is one of the ones I got from Malvern. So I know that it's gonna be, oh, is it? Is it one that, oh, look, that's hopeless. Oh, Jane. Oh, oh, look, I think it's got white rot as well. That's not healthy. Right, okay. First one. I'm disappointed. So that means I've got to keep going until I get one that I'm not disappointed with. That's the Jane Law. <laughs> until before you know it, they've all gone. Oh, these are looking bad. Oh no. Okay, we um I'm a little bit more hopeful about these because they've got much fatter stalks, but I know the hurry hurry is the wrong way around as well. Oh, they're bringing up more sun. Ah, ah, Jane. <laughs> That's more like it. Can you see that? That's more like it indeed. Oh, now, now I'm excited. Right, okay, on we go. Oh, right, okay. Well, I must admit, that looks like an onion. Doesn't that look, that's an onion. Unless it just hasn't formed cloves yet. I don't know, I thought it looked different to the others. Oh, well, you live and learn. nearly a blooper. Um, actually, after that initial disappointment, I'm blown over. I'm really, really thrilled. The ones that are behind me, I, I am leaving in for longer because I only put them in a couple of months ago. It was just a bulb that I found in the soil. Um, but yeah, we've gone from ridiculously small ones, like the first ones I dug up, to really, really, I mean, that's not huge. But it's a substantial garlic, but there are some pretty big ones in here. So what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to wash them all up or clean them up and then we'll have a look at them all together and see what's the best and what's the worst. But before I do that, I'm going to have a quick look at the elephant garlic. Right, quick disclaimer, and I'm not going to know until I've actually dug one of these up that I don't know if these actually are elephant garlic. All I remember is I didn't plant any garlic cloves here. The first line was there, and it's obviously a difference. That's the little weedy one. Why has that one come up? I haven't pulled that one up. Um, but I seem to remember a couple of years ago, I put a couple of weeding as I go. I put a couple of uh, garlic bulbils, which are the like miniature garlic cloves that grow on the outside of the bulb. I put some of the elephant garlic bulbils in here. And the idea is they stay in for two years. So the first year they produce a monobulb and then you leave that in and the next year it will split. So if I remember rightly, this is where I put those bulbils. Ergo, never know what that means. These should be elephant garlic. <laughs> I'm not quite sure the hurry hurry knife is uh, going to be able to do it if they are, but let's just have a look. Let's have a look. In fact, I'll bring you down here and you can see it come up with me. Oh. Right then, let's have a go. Oh dear, I've already found an onion and a shallot that weren't meant to be there, so. Let's have a look. Let's. Uh, oh my goodness. See? <gasps> oh my, we've got elephant garlic. This is what I mean about the bull bills. These are the bull bills that you put in, if you can be bothered, and two years later you have them. But my goodness! <gasps> That's been worth waiting for. Right, okay, let's try this one. Oh! Honestly, this is, you know, if gardening was always the same, we'd soon get bored. This is an absolute thrill. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! Oh my goodness me! Right, okay, right, they're all coming up. You know, I said I wasn't going to take everything up. They're all coming up. Okay, I'll leave the little squidgy ones in at the end. But this one's a much smaller one. Oh dear, and I've just ripped the set. I'm getting too keen now. There you go, they were worth waiting for, weren't they? And what of course I can do, I can save um, one of the elephant garlics. I can save a whole clove, a whole bulb, can't I? And put that in next year and then I'll only have to wait a year. But my goodness me, these are just extras. And they've had to compete with these blooming weeds here, look. Let's get rid of them. If I'd known what they were, I had a guess, but I'd have looked after them a bit better. And then look at that, look at that. Little onion. Again, why is that there? <laughs> it's more. My goodness. Can you see that? 